Woohoo guys, Kuthos here. Just past 200 hours in Helldivers 2. So I thought I'd share some thoughts with you on how I feel about the game now, as opposed to what I did after 100 hours. So I feel pretty much the same on the positive side. Like, gameplay is great. You know, you go out there, shoot up some bugs, dominate some robots, big old explosions. Boosh. It's absolutely awesome. Can't, can't go wrong with that kind of stuff, for sure. Oh, uh, the same bugs that I had before are still present here and there. Like, I have issues with the nuke the hatcheries quest every once in a while, the damn thing still won't. That little box that you have to touch, like, the thing, the prompt's there, but it won't let you touch it. It's bullshit. <laughs> Say the least. But other than that, the other issue that I ran into that was very annoying was that me and my friend and I were trying to play. And we were both have Steam accounts. Now, you would think that, that would make it real easy to connect, right? But it actually seemed to do the opposite. It made it like really hard. Like if I click on his name to go to join his ship, a lot of times it wouldn't work. The only way I could find him was to search the whole galaxy map, to find what mission he was on, and join the mission. If I did that, it would work every time. But other than that, I had a lot of trouble trying to join him. And then when he tried to join me, it was even worse. Like he couldn't even join me at all. He would, he would click on my name, nothing would happen. Try to join my mission to get booted out of me. He'd like probably on stage and stuff. So I don't know if it's from my end. But all I know is when I play with randoms, I never have that problem. So I'm guessing it's something with the friends thing, which everyone's saying is important. Like for example, I've met some nice people in the game and we wanted to be friends. Well, we couldn't because the friend thing in the game doesn't work. I sent the guy an invite, and he sent me an invite, and neither one of us ever got the damn invite. So, what do you gotta do about that? You know what I mean? Like, that has to be fixed at some point. If, if they want this game to continue to be successful, you know. Let's talk about some of the things that definitely could be improved. So, like I said before with the friends issue, that definitely needs to be fixed. Um... Balancing wise, there does seem to be some issues with balancing. I recently jumped into a level 4 mission and ended up running into two tanks. And, like, that's pretty rough for a level 4 mission, you know what I mean? Like, that's usually, I'm used to that on level 5 or 6, not 4. <laughs> I feel like that shouldn't really be there. Um, other things, like, when you get to the higher level, they are difficult. They're supposed to be difficult. That's not an issue at all. The real issue is that your loadouts like shrink you know what i mean like you can only pick a certain amount of little things that will work other than that you're just holding your team back if you're picking fun weapons you know what i mean like i, I like to run the sickle a lot it's a very fun weapon to use it's not super effective but it's pretty good if you play like level six and down you'll dominate the sickle. but if you start going above level seven like oh forget about it you're gonna have trouble like there's probably people out there that can put me to shame and say that hey you're full of shit you don't know what you're talking about and they're probably right but at the same time I, that's what i've experienced you know what i mean so keep that in mind when you're picking your loadouts and you're going to higher levels like don't be afraid to ask the people around you like, hey i don't know it's difficulty very much i've never played it before what can i bring to help us succeed you know what i mean and most people are going to be generous enough to do it so let's talk about Another issue with the game, I've been reading a lot of Steam forums here. I'm gonna bring that up here, I'm gonna see if I can't read one. So here we go, we got one right here. Mr. Hero Ustra says, got kicked. We got kicked at the very end of the map for no reason. I'll start doing the same. Love this game. Maybe he's trying to say something else. Oh, yeah, I see what he's trying to say. <laughs> trying to say the other word, F this game. That's what he's trying to say. But yeah, stuff like that, like, that's ridiculous. Why why are you kicking somebody at the end of a match? You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's not, that's not nice. That's just ruining somebody's play experience and you're just being a dick. Like, there's nothing good. Like, I can't believe you're having enjoyment from doing that to somebody. If you're having that kind of an issue when you're playing, host. Don't join other people's missions. If you host, you're in control. You can kick people and you can control what's happening. That way you won't run into That would be my advice to you on that. All right, guys, let's go back to some of the good stuff about the game. Like I said before, super great gameplay. Run around, 
blast and stuff, seeing parts flying everywhere. <laughs> the, most of the weapons are pretty satisfying with their sounds. The music of the game is great. I get bits of the are absolutely wonderfully all the time. I only bought the game about two months ago, so I didn't experience it when I was at its peak. But I can tell you right now, when I jump in with Brandon, I have fun. But I have a lot of fun. And very rarely run into any issues. Like, people have team killed and stuff, but as far as I can tell, it's always been an accident. I've team killed people. And sometimes someone runs the corner and you're a little jumpy. Oh, wow, well, you blow up. You know what I mean? Like, it happens, man. <laughs> but I haven't seen anybody out there doing it intentionally, so I. Maybe I'll fuck you on that, but I'll take it. Oh, some other nice things about the game is it also been adding a lot of new stuff. Like lately here, I noticed uh, there's a few extra little enemies on the robot side. I haven't jumped in the bug side yet since the update. The new mission, the Orbital Cannon, was pretty cool. I did that one. It was definitely a, something different. You know what I mean? I'd like to see some more different stuff like that, for sure. I finally, I've unlocked all the uh, stratagems that I can. And, I have to say, it's pretty nice going out, being able to go out there and test all that different stuff out. But I have noticed that there is inconsistencies with everything. Like certain weapons are yeah, way better than other ones. Certain weapons I like, you know, you rarely ever even see people use because they're that bad. Like, I'd like to see that balance get a little closer, you know. I think I'm not in the majority in that. I think a lot of people just like their meta builds and they're willing to just take that. But I'm the type of person, like, you know, you give me a a spoon, I'll be out there trying to stab you with it, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's the kind of person I am. I like fun weapons, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I understand the meta builds too. Like, when you're going to higher double calling, don't be like me and try to pick something stupid. Like, pick something good. If I go to the higher difficulty, I try to pick something I think stupid. Support the team. Pay attention to what your other people are bringing and try to compliment that. If everyone's bringing a spear, don't also bring a spear. You bring something that can deal with me, you know? No one else brought a spear, maybe bring something that can deal with heavy stuff. It doesn't have to be a spear, there's other ones that can be good. You know, I have a little thought, I can't even know that for sure. Alright guys, let's go back over here to the Steam page, and we'll look at some of the stuff people are talking about here. This is one of the discussions I see pop up all the time. It's not just, this guy here says, fighting bots is just not... Oh, my favorite guy to be up on. <laughs> But I see the same thing all the time when people who say the same thing about bugs. Like, you know, I personally don't care for the bugs. I think they're freaking, you know, annoying to fight. You constantly are just blasting and like, really the only thing that works against the bugs is pure firepower. Whereas on the robots, you have a little bit more leeway with the type of stuff you want to pick and how you want to approach things. That's just my opinion on it. But let's see what this guy has to say about it. I say this before and got downvoted for it. But it stands true now, and soon even more so with the addition of more rocket spam bots. Oh, I hate those guys too, buddy. I hate those guys. <laughs> Getting ragdolled every second by bots was just not fun gameplay. I've had it where I've been able to not play for a half a minute due to rocket spam. That's 30 seconds. That is a long time to be laying on. I don't knock that guy for being upset about that. And when I say I was not able to play, I mean stuck in ragdoll animations due to the rockets. So what he's talking about here is, you'll get knocked to the ground. And say maybe there's two or three devastators back there shooting at you. The rockets that are landing around you will just keep blasting you up in the air and again and again. And what happens is, as soon as you get ragdoll, you can't maneuver your guy at all. You're just totally stuck in that ragdoll until your guy gets back up on his feet. If you keep getting knocked down before that happens, you literally are just not controlling your guy. I don't understand what this guy's trying to say. So here's what his, he's saying. A huge nerf to rocket ragdolling needs to happen. Far too often this happens to the bots having unlimited spammable ammo. Now that also is a very valid claim. Why is it that our weapons constantly run out of ammo? Yet, you can clearly see on a rocket devastator, he has a set number of rockets in there. He can just shoot forever. He never ever has to go back to base, reload, or anything like that. So, I understand where that guy's getting at, too. Like, you should be able to outweigh your enemy and make, you know what I mean, the same way they do to us. When we run out of supply, we're as good as dead. But they never run out of supply, so we don't get that bonus. Let's see what his closing thoughts are here. It almost gets to a stage where I think, 
Might as well only fight the bugs as they have less total BS mechanics spamming you with rockets. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. They have plenty of BS mechanics. Uh, if I was going to say some stuff not so nice about the bugs, like chargers are an absolute pain in the butt. I found ball titans really aren't a lot big of an issue. I think chargers are the worst. These little green hobby bastards, man, they freak constantly get around. You're like, by themselves, they're not special. But when you get them in a mix of other stuff, it makes it a freaking nightmare for sure. Everything on the bug side takes multiple shots to hit. Even a little flea sometimes with certain weapons will take two hits before they go down. The robots, you can kill like 60% of the robots for one shot. You take a counter sniper rifle, especially the upgraded one, shoot it right in the face, they go down every time. It's, it's amazing. Like once you get good at that, like it really, really dominates robots. If you guys ever want to play solo and you want to know why it flowed out that works really well, I'll take the counter sniper or scorcher. Now the difference between those is when I take the counter sniper, I gotta rely on something else to take the AT walkers down. But other than that, I'm in good shape. With the scorcher, I don't have to worry about that. I can take everything down. But the only issue with the scorcher is that it doesn't have quite enough ammo, but you'll be reloading a lot. But it makes it pretty trivial to fight most of the regular guys you just kind of like spray at them and like it has whatever it shoots it's like little balls of energy and it acts like grenades when it hits something not, it's not as big as a grenade but it's the same effect like if you shoot one robot in the middle and there's two guys right next to him it'll kill all three of them in one shot so that works really nice but what i do is i take a spear i'll take a rocket sentry a border sentry and uh, the last one is something like whatever I think I need. If I think I'm going to run into heavy stuff, I'll take a auto cannon sentry. If I think there's going to be hard to get lines of sights to shoot fabricators with my spear, I'll take like a big bomb or a laser and take them out for me. You know I mean? So that's the type of things you want to think of when you're fighting solo anyway. Usually when you're fighting with people, some people somebody will take something out. Compliment each other and not play you guys. All right. If you don't, though, I've had it happen. But we all pick something stupid, and it definitely makes a huge difference. All right, guys, that's my thoughts after 200 hours in Old Hell Divers 2. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Any comments that you want to make about the video, are more welcome to put down in the in the thing. Let me know what you guys like about the game. Let me know what you guys don't like about the game. Do you agree with what I said? Or? I think there's maybe some stuff I could add. I'm going to do one of these videos every 100 hours that I've put into the game. So if I hit 300, there's going to be another one, 400, 500, etc. We'll see how far I go. But until I see you guys next time, this is Kurt saying goodbye. And I hope you all are having lots of fun gaming out there.